Hey y'all. Anyone else tired from being up half the night for the urban decay disaster? Because I'm exhausted. Uh, I just kind of want to come on and talk about this release because it's kind of irritating the way that it was handled. Um, so, and just kind of get ready while I talk about what happened in the last, oh, 13, 14 hours or so. So, uh, basically, if you don't know, um, Urban Decay did a collab with Game of Thrones and they released it well it was supposed to be released today the 14th and basically what they did was they went on uh when they announced it they said they set up for a sign up on their website where you could sign up to be notified that the collection was dropping when and all that good stuff so you know we all signed up you could sign up for email and text I believe because I know I signed up for text as well and it had been a couple years since I had um, actually purchased anything from Urban Decay directly I think the last time I actually er ordered anything directly from Urban Decay was like their vice polishes um, so it was a while so I guess my whole I had to re-register for the whole beauty junkies thing and all that stuff because I just hadn't bought anything for a while anyways neither here nor there so you signed up and sometime within the last week or so the urban decay website had um set up on there a countdown clock and the countdown is you know so many days so many hours whatever and the original the first time i saw it actually was like yesterday morning because i had already you know i didn't see the point of going back onto the site and checking over and over again when i'd already signed up for it and knew it wasn't releasing so I hadn't been on the site this week so yesterday I went on to double check to see if there was a time or anything on there and there was a countdown clock and the countdown clock at that point in time was saying that this, the collection was dropping the equivalent of what would be 11 o'clock central my time so 11 p.m. Uh, on the 13th so last night 11 p.m. which is all fine and good so you know set a couple alarms had the site up and all of that um, preface to say I also had gone back and I use a website called now in stock occasionally now in stock.net I had gone back and actually asked them if they were able to put in the the vault and the collection in their product tracker alerts and they couldn't they said they couldn't do it for urban decay but they will do it they did put it in for Sephora so I'll touch on that in a minute um, but I did find a place that can track the products for when they drop on Sephora and Ulta. Uh, but they couldn't do it for Urban Decay. So it was a constant checking to see when is this stuff going to be released. Um, so anyways, sometime in the middle of the day yesterday, I don't know exactly what time because I hadn't been paying that much attention since it wasn't releasing until the night. The time countdown climber, blah, 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 the countdown clock changed and it pushed it back from 11 o'clock central to like two o'clock central yeah to two o'clock so they pushed the clock back three hours the countdown clock back three hours so it was very confusing because a lot of people had been waiting and checking the clock and already set alarms and arranged to take off work and this that and the other and urban decay changed it meanwhile on their instagram site the urban decay official instagram site was also giving different times. They said one minute they said one o'clock Pacific time, one a.m. Pacific time at release. Another post they said one thirty. So they weren't even being consistent with their answers as to when it was being released on their site specifically. And so people were getting a little bit upset. When I saw that this was releasing, I should say, I had a feeling deep in my gut that this was going to be a disaster. <laughs> I really did. Urban Decay is not actually is not well known for being very on top of things at their launches. Um, there's been issues in the past where stuff is sold out like immediately, and um, and availability of stuff. So I was, and then when you see all of the all of the influencers like influencers that don't even do makeup reviews getting the PR vault that I was kind of like, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a disaster. Hence why I had 
already started following up about product tracker tracking websites. Um, so anyways, because everyone was getting it, everyone was reviewing it, and they were getting good reviews overall on the collection. The negative aspects of those reviews were not actually product related. Um, you know, it was like stuff like they didn't like the bulkiness of the eyeshadow palette or um, this formula I already know doesn't work for me specifically type of thing. But the shadows were getting good quality reviews, the, you know, good pigmentation. So it was just like making it even more going to be hyped up and everybody got vaults. I mean, like the um, people like I've seen people with PR packages that have like just a few thousand subscribers and that's great i mean i do think it is great for them to be able to get uh to get those out to the not so huge influencers i think that's awesome that they were spreading the wealth that way but so and it was really hyped up so when they changed the time for the release when they pushed it back three hours the problem comes into the fact that they were already inconsistent on instagram about the release time they were already were giving different times um, for when the release was supposed to occur. Messing with my hair. Um, then after they pushed it back, they would not confirm a time at all on Instagram. I didn't see where they responded on their Twitter page at all to any questions on Twitter. So like they weren't responding on Twitter to uh, messages about what was going on with the release they weren't confirming a time and they weren't confirming a time on instagram anymore after that the closest i saw was they were saying to people they said to a couple people um go by the website countdown tracker you know which people started were like okay well at least that's an answer uh because for the longest time and for most of the day yesterday they were not responding to um, questions which was getting super frustrating for all of us everyone you know I mean it's a big launch you know it's gonna be the most hyped up this is in all reality is the biggest launch that Urban Decay has probably had in forever I mean I can't think of anything that's been this hyped up in so long uh, as this release and for them to not even be able to give us a specific time when the, the collection is gonna drop was just ridiculous to me so in fact I'm going to use today the Alice for the Licking Glass palette uh, for my little get ready with me type thing. Anyways, so that made me really suspect and I had a feeling that this was just going to get worse as the day goes through because if they aren't answering us like three to five hours before the launch, I, I had very little hopes for what was going to happen when it actually did drop. So they went in um, after they changed it and they're not answering and they're not responding to questions and that's just very odd for them to have this big old launch going on and not actually answer any questions that's being posed to them on online on Instagram. And so for like the, I want to say for the four hours leading up to the launch, I didn't see any response to any questions. We couldn't get a positive time for sure. Uh, and the time had changed, the countdown clock had changed. Uh, so fast forward to um, 11 o'clock central time, and that's when it was originally stated it was going to drop, 11 o'clock central. So go back and you go back and you look, and now the countdown clock, which, had, which should at that point be saying a three hour countdown, had stopped. And it was basically switched from coming soon to the collection is here. So they'd already, you know, pushed it back three hours and then the site changed anyways to say that the collection was here at 11 o'clock central time last night. But when you go into the site, everything is listed as sold out. Nothing is listed as available on site at all. And people start freaking out, you know, I mean, all over the place. People are upset. People are livid. They don't understand what's going on because how can it go from countdown three hours left to it's here and zero and nothing is available it's all sold out and i had gone through and i looked at every item just to be sure that maybe because the, the thing i was looking at of course was the vault first and foremost because their vaults are the things that sell out the fastest when they do stuff like this and i was thinking well maybe it's just the vault that sold out but no everything the lip and cheek stain the brushes everything is listed as sold out and so 
everyone's freaking out on the on Instagram and Twitter and they're not answering anything. They're not responding to a single post on Instagram, Twitter, nothing. So I'm like, okay, I'm thinking <clears throat> to myself, well, maybe we're looking at a situation here where it is going to actually release at two o'clock, like the, the prior countdown clock was saying right before it cut off. So, you know, okay, we'll stay up another few hours. <laughs> Now, at this point, it's just like ridiculously frustrating because you don't know for sure. And there's nothing more frustrating than trying to stay up for a launch and then have it still not happen when you've been up half the night. I mean, this is not an unusual situation for limited edition stuff like this. I mean, I've done, I've collected Barbie dolls, fashion dolls, um, high-end fashion dolls, and uh, nail polish, highly side after sought after nail polish stuff. So these limited releases, they can get, you know, they get Hunger Games. And so I've, this is not my first rodeo with these type of situations. So I was fully prepared to wait until the whole two o'clock and go back and see if it was available. But mostly, usually in these situations like this, there's some type of communication going on. I mean, when you've got all, none of your plat, no communication on any platforms, nothing on the Instagram, they're not responding, Twitter, they're not responding, Facebook, they're not responding, nothing. And it was just so insane and more and more posts. If you go on there, there's like, you know, hundreds, over a thousand on one post of people just so upset and frustrated about this, this release. So finally, you know, after staying up longer, cause I'm just waiting to see, cause I've been through this before, especially with, you know, the dolls and stuff that happens quite a bit too, where there's glitches and stuff. So I waited up and finally at 2.05 central time, the collection drops at 2.05 central time. So boom, order, order goes through, done. And then within five to, t five to eight minutes later, the vault is sold out. Uh, everything was still available except the vault when I went to sleep last night. But of course this morning, everything is sold out except the eyeshadow palette. Now the issue comes in is that even when it released, they still weren't responding to questions initially. Uh, and then after a while, I'm going through Instagram this morning looking at stuff, and after a while, if you take a look, they do start responding to people, and they post an it's available uh, post on there, but they're still not responding to any questions. They're only responding to random questions that they want to respond to about people that are happy they got whatever they wanted to order. They're not, they're not responding to people asking, why is this happening? Um, my orders, I've not gotten a confirmation. Not responding to any of those, those questions. And it's like, really? Why are you not responding to the people that are, you know, trying to figure out what's going on? And so the only responses were like the ones like, oh, yay, and they're, you know, clap, clapping hands and stuff emojis, responding to those, but not answering any questions. Several hours later, I see that they start responding a little bit to occasionally they'll be like, um, someone will say something about having a problem with their order and they'll ask, what country are you in? And the person tells them what country they're in and then they don't respond again. And now in the meantime, people's orders are getting canceled. If you can believe, I mean, orders are getting canceled now. People are getting emails that their orders are being canceled, no explanation. And when they're calling into customer service, customer service is saying there's nothing that anyone can do. Nobody has yet to address why there were so many issues going on with the site and why the things changed. And nobody and now orders are getting canceled and nobody will tell us why and here's my thing okay i'm fine with limited edition releases it's it's part of the whole i suppose it's a necessary evil for marketing to, you know marketing hype for companies to be able to get a good hype for their product and make the sales they want to sell so the thing is is that urban decay knew going into this before they ever announced this release they would knew that this vault was going to be a big thing everybody was going to want it it was going to sell out and they should have been far better prepared they weren't okay 
fine mistakes happen. Now I'm not saying that they have to be perfect. Mistakes happen. I get it. You know, we all know that. That's it stuff. It's that's life. But my issue comes in my issue comes in with why are you not answering people? Why are you not responding? Why are you not addressing any questions or concerns? from people. Why are you not apologizing? <laughs> I think I saw one, as of the time I started filming, I saw one post where the Urban Decay Instagram account responded to someone and said, I'm sorry for the confusion and, you know, contact customer service. That's the only thing I've seen that's an apology so far from Urban Decay. Not seen any, no questions answered, nothing. And we're talking thousands of posts now of people that are just upset, livid about this situation with the, you know, with the everything selling out. They probably are surprised that the lipsticks and the liners and the cheek stain are selling out um, as fast as they did. But the vault, they should have known. The eyeshadow palette was actually still available as of the last time that I logged on to the site so the palette was still available and the only answer that they are giving is um they'll be available in sephora and ulta anytime anyone says anything the only other answer i've seen is it's available in sephora and ulta on the 29th which we know that anyone that has been super stocking this release already knows that it's going to be available on Sephora and Ulta on the 29th. That's not the issue. What people want is they want to know what happened and they want Urban Decay to just say, hey, we're sorry. This is what happened. We didn't work prepared, whatever. And they're not doing that. And that is the problem is that Urban Decay is not responding to the customer's complaints. And now, now you've got orders being canceled, which is just insane to me. And I mean, not just vault orders, like orders like lipstick orders are getting canceled too. I just, I've never seen anything quite this crazy. And I don't know if Urban Decay is going to be able to fix this. I think they've probably lost a lot of customers, <laughs> all this. With all that being said, I will say that I did, they do have the release still coming on uh, April 29th, it's going to be online at Sephora, Ulta, and Macy's. And I did sign up on nowonstock.net for um, updates, for um, browser alert updates for Ulta and Sephora. Because so I want to get, try and get um, a couple more of the little brushes, because the brushes, I like the way that the little detail brushes look. We'll see. I'm hoping that my order doesn't get canceled. We'll see what happens. Uh, I just think it's crazy that they were so unbelievably ill-prepared, but even more so of the total lack of response to their customers about this situation. Total lack of uh, you just, just ignoring everyone. It's just unfathomable to me. And this is what I don't like about the whole limited edition thing is that they get, the, get people worked up into a frenzy over stuff. But if, and everyone gets so chaotic about it and then stuff like this happens to not even address it is just crazy to me, just crazy to me that they don't even come back and say, Hey, you know, we screwed up. This is why I do think that this probably sold out more than they anticipated. I think that even more so than they planned. Uh, I don't know how much stock of course they made for it, but they definitely, whoever is handling the social media aspect of things desperately failed last night just totally and completely failed and i think that urban decay is going to figure out that they've lost themselves quite a few customers because of that i'm just i think it was just luck that anything happened last night that i was even able to get the something to show up on the site and so i will keep you posted as to if it comes, if it's canceled, because I know a lot of people are now getting cancellation emails. So we'll see what happens, but that's my night anyways. Let me know if y'all tried to get anything from that collection and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching, bye.